In this video, I'm going to show you how I did my watercolor design that I shared on social media. This one right here. It's pretty easy. You can do it in Canva and I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I want to teach you how you can design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple watercolor design in Canva and this is using just four letters. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step and this is totally free. You can go to canva.com and do it for yourself. Watch me step by step. Make your own. Use different things. I'm going to show you what I use but of course you can use a lot of different things on Canva. I'm going to show you some options that you can do as well just to make it your own so it looks different and it's not like everybody else's. So let's get into Canva right now and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are on Canva. Canva.com you can see right here and I just, I'm doing the free version right here. You can see free, so anyone can do this. I'm gonna use a lot of the free stuff. I'm, all my stuff is gonna be free actually. I'm gonna show you all the different variations that you can do. Uh, there's lots more you can do with the pro version. So if you wanna get with the pro version, I'm gonna show you the difference. There's just so much more um, variety with the pro version, but don't worry, there's a lot of free stuff too. So let's go to create design. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Hit create design and hit custom size and put whatever size you want in here. I'm going to use 4500 by 5400. I have that set so I'm going to do that. You can do whatever size you want and we're going to do this. You can see a blank canvas. First thing we're going to do is go to elements. You can see right there and just scroll down and use these frames. We're going to use frames for the letters so that we can put in uh, different colors in here. So let's do see all and then we're going to start with L. In this video, I'm going to do a design that has the word love in it, but there's lots of four letter words that you can use that I think would do well on t-shirts. Here are a few that I thought of. Use any of these as well. If you want to use love, you can, but if you want to use any of these, feel free uh, or use all of them. Make all of these ones into t-shirts uh, if you got the time. So now that we're back here, you can see uh, L. I'm going to just type in the letter L, capital L, hit enter, and you can see like nine versions of L that you can use here. Pick whichever one you want. I'm going to use this one. This is just going to be a lot easier to do, but if you want the serif ones, do that. If you want some of these other ones, lowercase as well, do that. So we're just going to kind of do it a quarter size of the page, leaving some room here. And then we're going to do an O. We're going to use uh, the shape of the planet or the earth for the O because this is an Earth Day design. But again, if you're using any of those other uh, words, you may want to put a basketball here or a flower here or a football or a sun or, you know, whatever you want here. Um, you can use whatever. Um, but we're, in this tutorial, we're going to do an earth. So we're going to leave that blank for now. We're going to do V, hit enter. Same thing. I'm going to use this big V. Make sure it's the right size. You can kind of do that just to make sure it's the right size. But the V is going to go over here. We're going to L O V E. So of course we need the V, uh, the E, hit enter. And then the E that I want is this one. Again, lots of variety for E's. So yours can look completely different. Try a different um, version of the E if you want and just follow along. All right. So now that we got our letters in place, let's look for some watercolor stuff. Uh, first, we're going to get out of frame. So get out of here. Make sure that you're in elements and have search for Canva. We're not going to search in frames anymore. We're done with that. Let's do uh, watercolor. And it doesn't have to be watercolor. But in this example, we're going to do watercolor. And then earth. And you can see so many different earths. We're going to do graphics. And again, so many for pro. Like if you don't want to use this one that I have here and you want to use a different one, you may want to go on the pro version, sign up for pro, lots to see there. If you're not on pro and want to be on pro, I have a link in the description uh, to get on pro. So uh, that would be helpful there. And then, you know, put your planet. You can do this color or this, like, look at all these. These are so cool. Just a lot of different ways to do yours and make yours different. That's, I think that's one of the benefits of going pro is you can make yours so different from everybody else. With the, with the free version, you know, you're kind of limited. And so 
might look like somebody's design. So we're going to try and make it different here. Let's do watercolor background. And this is going to be for coloring the letters. So these backgrounds are photos. Let's see. Yeah. Just go to photos. They're a lot easier. And we're going to see what colors we can use. Uh, make sure they're not pro if you don't have the pro version. But again, like you have a lot more um, variety here for pro. I like this one. This isn't a pro. There you go. Okay. And then let's scroll down, see which other one. This one's kind of cool. Uh, let's make that. Whoops. Make sure that it goes inside the letter. There we go. And let's pick another one. Want a, a cool one. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, this one. And E. Cool. So you can click on the letters to, to kind of move it around or grow it. So this background, if you want maybe more of the yellow, you can see that in the background. You want it to cover here. You can do that and then click outside. So double click again, you can do this with any of them. You know, if you want to move it around, you can. So just to kind of get the variety, right? That you saw, maybe you want to put it more light there. Perfect. Okay. So play around with that, move it around, pick your backgrounds, pick the ones that have lots of different colors that you like. I think having more colors in it, I'm trying to get it to pop. If you just do like a single color, you know, a lot of these watercolor ones are good. So uh, it, that's what I like about the watercolor. You have some variety, right? It goes light, dark and, and things like that. So have fun. Well, this one is really cool. So you can see, actually, I want to change this one. Let's do, let's do this one. So you can easily change it to something else. That one is cool. Double click, make sure we get some red in there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Now that we have our watercolor, we picked our watercolor stuff. Let's do another watercolor thing and I'm going to do leaves. So watercolor leaves. There we go. And then let's just pick whichever one we want. Again, we have to pick the free ones, but let's start with this. This is cool. And one thing you can do is you can crop it. So if you don't want this bottom part, just pull it up like that and move it. And maybe you want to put it right here. Make sure not to make it go inside the letter. Um, one way you can do that is kind of get close to the edge and then hit, hold down shift and move with your arrows. I'm clicking, holding down shift and moving to the right or moving to the left. See that? And then you may want to move this to the back. So click on this, go to position and go backward. See that? That's kind of neat. And then move it back and forth depending on where you want it like that. Okay. Let's find some other ones. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here and just pick some. This one's kind of neat. Maybe we put this one on the V. So let's do that. It's kind of cool. Now you can leave it in the front. That's that's not bad either. So let's let's do that for variety. Let's do this one in the front that um, I'm going to put one on each of these. So let's find another one. Again, it's got to be free. Oh, this is cool. Move it around. Boom. That neat. And let's see for this for the E. Let's see. What else we got here? Watercolor leaves graphics. Oh, let's go graphics. And oh, I like this one. This one's neat. Yeah. Again, if you want to change stuff out, you can. Let's move it like this. I'm going to put this one in the back. And since this one is touching that, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip it. Go here, flip horizontal, move this around. Again, not inside. You're going to have to move it like that. And again, we can move, move this up, kind of crop it. Cool, right? And do whatever you want. Make this bigger now that we have space. Cool. All right. So we got leaves. Now you can put more. I'm just doing one on each just for time's sake. But if you want another leaf here or another leaf there, just have fun with that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is flowers. So watercolor and come here and do flowers. 
Cool, now we can do any flower we want. I kind of want one without any of the branches, so I'm gonna click this one, no branches. It's just easier to move things around. So if you wanna put this right here and move it, you know, kind of cover the leaf, boom, right? Again, let's scroll down like this rose right here. No, no branches, right? We wanna put that, put that right there. Um, and if you want a specific flower, maybe you want watercolor sunflower. Do that and look, you got watercolor sunflowers. A lot of these are pro. Let's see if there's one that's not pro. This one's not pro. So we can do that, like a specific flower. If you want a rose or orchid, you can do that. All right, well, let's just do flowers so we can add more here. All right, what else we got? Um, these combo ones right here are kind of nice. So kind of uh, fits a bigger area. Again, be careful with uh, putting it inside. Let's get it close and then we can still move it around, right? Right. And you know what? Sometimes the color doesn't match and maybe we do it on this one. I think this color matches better. So let's do that. Just gonna have to play around with it. I think this one might need a lighter color one. Let's try, oh, let's try this one. Again, this is perfect for corners. You can see it's kind of comes to a corner anyway. And get close and then hold down shift and move it in. Hey, coming together. Look at that. All right. Um, let's see. I feel like there's like, look and see if there's more space. If there's other things you need. I think there's some white space here. We're trying to fill it in, I think here as well. So, um, let me see what else we can do here. This one, this one has leaves. You Sometimes it's good. Let's flip this one and put it here, move it in a little bit and then put it in the back. Yeah, that could work. All right, I feel like we could use another leaf here. So you might wanna come back in, go leaf or flower or whatever. Um, let's do one more. I think flower here, maybe leaf here. Let's do let's do leaf again. All right. Um, I want kind of a longer one here, so let's do yeah, let's do this one. Well, that's interesting color. And let's we can flip it this way. Turn it around. That's kind of neat. and make this rose in the front. Yeah, that's kind of neat and play around with that. So any way you want to do it, use different watercolor styles. Now, some of them may not match others. Like this is a different watercolor style. And so I probably would change that out because it's not like that one. Um, but, you know, just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll do it. And if you want to put it on a different color, I have white here, but let's look what it looks like on black. So you can see it looks very different on black. Maybe this doesn't work on black. So then you get rid of that and then pick something else that works better on black. So maybe something lighter like this one, you know, this, this works better on black. We'll put this instead. Yeah. and then move this in the front. So just play around with it, have fun with it, try different things out. There's no time limit. You can start putting more leaves and flowers and leaves. And when you're done, just save it and export it. So what you're gonna do is if you have the pro version, um, get rid of the background, click on the background, hit delete and hit download and transparent background, click that and then download. If you don't have that and you only have the free version, leave the background, so I'm gonna Command Z here, and then download it like this, and then you're gonna to have to remove this black background in something like Photopea or Preview or Affinity Photo or something like that. So have fun with this. Uh, this is a real cool way to do some watercolor stuff if you don't know how to do watercolor stuff, but it looks really cool, right? 
And again, you don't have to do watercolor. This is just a tutorial for watercolor. If you wanna put in a different background, let's say you wanna do a 70s background, you would do 70s background like that. Make sure that it's photos. So graphics won't fit in here. They have to kind of be photos. So let's do that. And you can see there's not a lot of free ones, but maybe you could do free ones. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what it would change. So you can see like that, it would give it a totally different style, right? And then you can do 70s graphics or flowers and things like that. You could do um, this kind of flower on top of it and do kind of more of a 70s style. So depending on your style that you wanna do, we're doing watercolor in this version, but I just wanted to show you that there's lots of different varieties that you could do um, with this style, with the frames, with the letters and frames, and then using a different graphic for the O or for whatever word that you made, um, that could be really cool. So have fun with this. Lots of different ways you could do it. Again, lots of different photos and graphics and, and things. Make it your own. Have fun with this. Uh, hopefully you can do this and get some sales. Put it on print on demand products and get some sales this year um, for these designs that you're making. So I think it comes out really cool and yours is gonna be unique because you're gonna pick different flowers and leaves and, and colors and things like that. So have fun with this. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was super helpful for you. Now you can make some watercolor designs on Canva. That's so cool. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, hit that subscribe button. I got one right here. The question of the day for this video is, have you done any watercolor designs for t-shirts for print on demand? Let me know that in the comments as well. Leave those, I'd love to hear it to see if you've done that. It's a new style. I haven't done uh, any besides this one. I'm excited to see how this works and if it sells well. I think it would do well on Redbubble because of the art aspect of Redbubble. I'm gonna give it a try there. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more tutorials for Canva, make sure to click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.